right, what's up guys? What's up everybody? Frank Calabro Jr. here. Welcome back to your training. We're going to continue on with the email marketing series. And today what we're going to do, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about knowing your numbers. This is very important. Every top marketer out there, they know their numbers. And once you know your numbers, it's literally like printing money. And you can really scale up, scale up your campaigns once you know your numbers. And I'm going to give you guys a couple examples. We're actually going to draw out uh, a simple little illustration. But before we get started, let's talk about a couple things. Uh, we're going to go over a couple terms right here. And uh, CPM, if you haven't heard this before, a lot of you that do Facebook and Bing uh, advertising, you know what this is. It's cost per impression. And what you're doing is uh, you're buying a thousand impressions. What is your cost for every 1,000 impressions? That's what CPM stands for. And then we have CPC, cost per click, how much you paying for clicks either on Facebook, Bing, uh, from solo ad vendors, things like that, different traffic sources, but what is the cost per click? And then we've got cost per lead, cost per lead, okay? And we're going to go back to these here in just a moment. Now what I want to do is I want to draw out a simple example to show you how to figure this out. And let's just say for even numbers, I want to use even numbers in this example, let's just say I'm making $5,000 per week, okay, or $20,000 per month, okay? So let me write this down. Let's just say Frankie's making $20,000 per month, okay? $5,000 per week, I'm making $20,000 per month. Now, for even numbers, let's say my email list, okay, my email list is... 6,200 subscribers on my email list. Okay, now, let me grab my calculator right here. And what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to key in $20,000, okay, $20,000 is my average month, and I've got 6,200 subscribers right now. So divided by 6,200 equals... This is an important number right here. Three dollars and what do we got here? Twenty-two cents. Twenty-two point five. Close enough. Now, another important number. What this is telling me is, if I average twenty thousand dollars per month, I've got a subscriber base of sixty-two hundred subscribers. My average subscriber is worth three dollars and twenty-two cents. Now. Are all those subscribers active? Of course not. They're not all doing business with me, but it doesn't matter, guys. The average is the average, and my subscribers are worth $3.22 a piece because I'm averaging $20,000 a month in income from this list of 6,200 subscribers. Okay? Does that make sense, guys? Now, all the top marketers know and they focus on one thing. This is what I'm about to show you because um, this is one of those things that a few of the top guys talk about, but most people don't talk about this. And for some people, it takes people years to figure this out. Now, I'm going to use another example. Let's just say I place a solo ad, okay? I place a solo ad, and this solo ad is going to cost me $660 for 1,000 clicks, okay? So I'm going to place a solo ad. I'm going to spend $660 for 1,000 clicks, okay? Now let's just say for even numbers, this solo ad, I get a 48% opt-in rate, which is not unusual. 48% opt-in rate, meaning, meaning, I just got 480 New subscribers, 480 new subscribers. Now, a lot of the amateur marketers out there, they focus on this right here. What is it costing me, uh, you know, for my advertising ca campaign? Or they're focusing on what does it cost me per click or per impression? Now, here's the reality, guys. Here's the reality. And this is the only thing that you need to even care about. How much you spend on an over, uh, uh, a solo ad? How much you spend on a click? How much you spend on CPM advertising? It makes no difference 
whatsoever. No difference whatsoever. The only thing that matters is right here. This is the only thing that matters. What is your cost per lead? Cost per lead, guys. It's the only thing that matters. What is your cost per lead? So, let's go back to this example over here. Okay? What was my cost per lead? Okay? I spent $660 for 480 leads, right? Let's take $660 divided by these brand new 480 people on my list. I just spent $1.37 per lead. So my cost per lead, my CPL, was $1.37 in this campaign. And that's the only thing that I need to focus on. How much am I paying per lead? Because I know, because I know from this right here, if I'm paying less than $3.22 per lead, which I'm way under that figure, I can be in profit. Or this is a profitable campaign. Because my list average is for income is $3.22 per lead. Do you guys see this now? This is what all the top marketers are doing. They know what their cost per lead is. Cost per lead. They could care less about this, about how much they're paying a click, or how much they're paying for impression. They could care less about all that stuff. It doesn't matter. What is your cost per lead? This is the only figure that matters, okay? Once you know your cost per lead, you know how much you could pay per lead and still be profitable, okay? And even break even. Because check this out. Let's just say, for some reason, you know, I was paying $3 per lead. $3 per lead, okay, that's expensive. And it is expensive, guys, but you know what? I know a lot of top marketers, seven-figure marketers, consistently make seven figures plus per year. They'll pay up to $3 per lead and still be in profit, still make money. No problem, because they know their numbers. If you can get leads for a dollar or less, get as many as you can. <laughs> okay? As long as it's quality stuff, quality traffic, you know what I'm saying? Get as many as you can, okay? Because if you can get leads for that cheap, or even this cheap, this is awesome. $1.37 a lead? Never mind the clicks. Clicks don't mean nothing. Clicks means someone clicked on your website. Big deal. That doesn't put no money in your bank account. That doesn't put no money in your pocket, okay? Getting people on your list, that's what puts money in your pocket, guys, okay? Because once we get people on our list, what are we going to do? We're going to monetize our list, okay? We're going to get 3 to 5% minimum of people to come into our world and do business with us. But, of course, if you're following my training, we're shooting for 10 to 15% because that's what I average, 10 to 15%. So, if I continue to grow my list and focus on my list building, okay, and focus on this right here, keeping my CPL, my cost per lead, under, under my average income, my average income from my list, $3.22, I am in profit, guys. And that's how simple it really is, guys. That's knowing your numbers, guys. Focus on cost per lead. So after you run a solo ad campaign, a, uh, a pay-per-click campaign, a CPM campaign over on Facebook or Bing or wherever you're getting your advertising from, or solo ad vendors, doesn't really matter, uh, your campaigns, they always want to figure out your cost per lead, okay? Just track that stuff, figure out what you're paying per lead, that will tell you if that campaign is profitable or not. Alright guys, that's it for this really simple training. See you guys in the next class. Thank you guys.